Turn right that bitch with yeah. some shoes in Yeah Say she in the groupie Then tell me why that bitch is so shoes in Hey guys It's Jezzy here Don't you guys like my hair? So today Um Oh So today I'll be doing um Some story time You know what I mean? Um, a story about my life and how I got diagnosed with um, leukemia. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I did. But, yeah guys. <laughs> so right now I'm doing my makeup. Yes, see that? I did my eyebrows already. Um, did my lips. But... So I'll be doing my makeup while I'm talking to you. So this is my first video, guys, and um, it's nerve-wracking, but at the same time, it's fun, you know, talking to you people. Um, well, mm, <sighs> well, like, how do you say this? Uh, never really like, really, really share my story, story like me my childhood and stuff like that but basically i grew up with i grew up with my mom my mom and dad broke up when i was little and then when i was 10 i had to um hold on wait when i was 10 i had to come to guam to um I had to come to Guam for, um, or like my dad was saying that, you know, coming to Guam, I would have a good future. Um, okay, so, like, fast forward, I came to Guam when I was, like, I think nine or ten. Yeah, I came to Guam and then, um, hold up. So I came to Guam and then I went here for, like, my middle school and my fifth grade yeah i went here for my fifth grade and then went to middle school and then when i was eighth grade um i got sick right so i got sick i got sick and i was diagnosed with leukemia so me being me i didn't know leukemia was cancer so um no the doctor was saying yeah um you're not gonna go home tonight because you have leukemia so me when i heard that i was just like okay i'm sick it's just a fever i didn't know it was like cancer cancer so what had happened was I went to the ICU, um, stayed there for like 20 days because, oh my goodness, I stayed there for 20 days, didn't eat, doctors didn't feed me um, because they said my, bran uh, my pancreas, my liver, and my spleen was already um, swollen, right? I was already swollen and... Doctor said I can't eat, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, every single day I had to get like my blood drawn and um, I had to always get like um, my blood, my blood, my blood, my blood transfusion and um, my platelet transfusion. So platelet is like a white, so like there's blood or that's like your um, what do you call it? hemoglobin. That is like your red blood cell and then your... Yeah, the white blood cell is like the killing or the the oh my goodness it's coming to me it's coming to me it's your fighting um cell so like my white cell so but yeah you know so um every day a med tech will come to get like my blood at like six in the morning and oh i'm used to that so dude this is like me now dude mind you i didn't look like this i'll show you a video after this so um like in the end of the video i'll show you what i look like so um 
you know, I got sick, blah, not, not 20 days, staying nice to you. After staying nice to you, I went to my regular room because I guess I was already good. Yeah, I was already fine, you know. So, um, uh, yeah, I went to my regular room. My friends came. My friends came and, you know, they asked me what, what cancer I have. Or what cancer, what sickness I have. And then I said, I have leukemia. My friends, mind you, my friends were crying because they know what leukemia is and I don't. So I'm um, looking at my friends like, guys, I'm not dying, so why are you guys crying? Um, they didn't want to tell me, right? So I have no idea why they're crying, so um that whatever um so after staying in the hospital here in guam i had to go fly to the philippines because we have no chemotherapy here so i went to fly to guam or i went flying to the philippines um haven't seen my mom for a while saw my mom there she's crying um, had my nurse with me to go fly with me, my, my dad, so I went there, um, after that, after that, I went and then I went to the ICU again to like, you know, like, make my, is it even? But yeah, I went to the ICU in the Philippines to, um, uh, to make my body stable and whatever, you know, um, the, like, me, I am very optimistic, like, whatever happens, I always stay happy and stuff, but sometimes I do have my down days, <sighs> but yeah, okay, continuing to my story, I got sidetracked, but continuing to my story, I, yeah, I went to the ICU after ICU, um, after the ICU, I went to my regular room in the 8th floor in, um, Medical City. Yeah, Medical City in the Philippines. And then, um, they started chemo. Maybe I took, I took chemo for, like, one, like, one whole year. So I took chemo, and then, um, I was using my veins in my hand. Um, I took chemo, and then... After like one year chemo, I had radiation. After radiation for like eight days, my head started to like hurt, you know what I mean? Like my my head was just hurting out of nowhere. And you know, my family didn't know what to do. So like it was really hurting, like really, really hurting. And then um it was really hurting and then um the doctor my doctor had to uh, check what was happening to my my head or like what was happening why is it hurting like like two for like two days straight my head was like hurting mind you like a bad migraine but a really really bad one like you know when you have your migraine it really hurts but like that one was like 10 times worse so it was hurting I want or like my doctor came into the room um told me that they're gonna get some intratico like the one in your back it's like your your spine right they take some samples out so i did that <clears throat> and then usually like the doctor will come into the room when it's like good news so the doctor will come into the room if it's good news if it's not they'll, they'll call my mom out you know they'll call my mom and then my mom will uh, the doctor will talk to my mom so while they were talking i was in my room in the hospital I was watching TV and then um, my mom came in and my mom's face wasn't good and like my mom's face was like not a happy face so that was like a red flag already so um, my mom came into the room and uh, didn't look good like she looked sad so you know I already know like something happened from, from the result or whatever so yeah something happened something happened in the result that didn't really like it's not good and stuff 
So um, I asked my mom what's wrong. She was crying. And me as a cancer survivor, cancer survivor, not yet, but currently in remission, right? Or maintenance right now. She said that um, my cancer came back. My cancer was already spreading in my, my, what you call it, like my head, like my head and my spine, and um, now she's crying. And then, so the doctor said I had to restart chemo because um, it went back to zero, like the count or whatever, the chemo thingy. Um, it went back to zero. So I wasn't really stressing, but at the same time, I was disappointed because I thought I was already going to remission i'll survive cancer and i'll go back to school because i haven't been going to school um after that after that i had to like start chemo again they insert like a port on my chest like right here and then um i started chemo again losing my hair and stuff like that so i was really disappointed but at the same time um i look at this sickness as um a blessing because at the same time I got to see like my mom that I haven't seen for a while and like um, I got to really like appreciate how life is really important and how you know like people around me that supported me like cared for me loved me and everything was there and I you know get to see that and um you know like um yeah so i went back so i gotta like beat this again and then right like right now i'm still taking chemo every single week i get to see my doctor um you know we like i get blood work every single week to see if like my counts are dropping or not and um yeah you know i'm still fighting this cancer and cancer is just stupid straight up stupid but um you know it's just cancer i can beat this so and you know yeah just sometimes you gotta look at life the positive way because if you look at life the negative way you'll like you're really you're really gonna be sad and you're really gonna be like down tripping you know what i mean like it's not good so word of advice just be happy i'm not even done with my thing but i'll just do it later but yeah word of the uh, word of a word of advice for you guys just be happy throughout everything you know sometimes yeah life will like get you down and stuff like that but dude me fighting this sickness and being happy like <gasps> cherry and stuff but yeah like be happy and just live your life the fullest you know not really like yeah the fullest like the fullest the fullest um just be happy and you know do the things you want to do not like do the things you want to do 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 but like do the things you never like or like do the things you want you always wanted to do you know like because do we only live once and that's how i really appreciate life and yeah um next week i'll be vlogging getting ready for work and stuff so please watch me and um you know please subscribe and um like and subscribe you know what i mean um well yeah that's it so i'll see you guys soon and oh yeah it's christmas so Merry Christmas and you know what? Just stay just stay happy and be positive. And um yeah, I'll tell you guys more story of me fighting the big C. But yeah, just be happy and keep smiling. Um I'll talk to you guys real soon and peace. Adios. Uh, baby, can you do what I say? Simon says you come my way.